Brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites. When the bee stings. When I'm feeling sad, I simply open another vacuum cleaner and then I don't feel so bad. Well, it's not a brown paper packages package. It's not a brown paper package tied up with strings. It's a brown paper package tied up with fragile tape, but that wouldn't rhyme. So, it's another, another Hoover Ranger Senior. Third time's a charm, third time lucky. I've got two of these already. There was a time when they were quite hard to get hold of on eBay, but now they're ten a penny for some reason. And um, the two I've got have got a broken lower cord hook. I'm hoping this one hasn't. As far as I could tell, the seller of this item was the original owner. And I gave her some hints about uh, dismantling the machine. Which she seems to have followed. Right, come on. Off you go. Right, so I'll save that bit of bubble wrap. Now, um, this was on a buy it now for £40. And there's quite a few at the time of making this video. There's a few on eBay as I speak, and um, I think they're on buy it now for so quite a lot more than 40 Oh, we've got quite a nice box actually. <clears throat> Tell you what folks, this is boring. I'll uh, take off the bubble wrap and I'll be back with you in a moment. Some of you watching will know this as the Shaken Vac vacuum. Made famous by the equally famous TV commercial for the carpet freshening powder. Now. Wow! Wowzer! 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 This wasn't shown. <laughs> wow! The original. I'm tracking. It's a little bit. It's a little bit wrinkled, like the lady who sold this to me. But. I don't think I've got the instructions. I might have them. I might have bought them separately. And if I did, I expect I paid over £20 for the instruction book alone. These go for silly money. So £40 for the instruction book and the vacuum. Brilliant. But also, a bit, a bit creased again, but it'll flatten out in my, uh, in my press. Wowzer. I've got this, but I've, I've got a black and white photocopy someone did for me years ago. Here's the original. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Look at that. Wow. I mean, I would have, I would have probably held one of these as a young boy, collecting leaflets. Ooh, look at that. Oh, ooh, suits you, sir. Well, it certainly does suit me. Oh, look at that. Oh, what a wonderful array of upright cleaners. And some lovely, lovely Hoover Freedom Clean Of. Gives you freedom from housework. Oh, that's brilliant. What an extra, what an unexpected and fantastic bonus. I'll put those carefully. With I don't care if the vacuum's rubbish now. I'd have paid 40 quid for them. <laughs> right. We have a top fill tube taking H1 bags. Not original, but probably as good as. The original um, so that's that here we have the bag looking a little bit dusty this is a, a vinyl wipe clean bag so um, I think these are okay to hand wash because this Hoover writing is pretty pretty well stuck on there I wonder if they use like a heat method like you know those transfers you can get although it couldn't have used much heat this this is a plasticized bag it probably would melt under an iron don't try iron these it's even got the little doobie. Now somebody told me that's called a, tre I think they co they're called a treasury tag, I'm not sure, for holding papers together, but Hoover used those to hold the bag support tube up. Well, is the zip, the zip's fine. 
I'm sure. I think, judging by the photos, this has come from quite a middle-class, well-to-do household. And um, they've actually been... And I have no, no reason to believe they're lying. This lady was lying who sold this. Um, but this has been their, their vacuum cleaner. They've used it a lot. But they've got, they've got rid of a lot of their carpets and put floors down, so they don't need an upright. We've got some spares, non-genuine, but for some reason little bit rusty but we've got some end caps for an agitator electro part spares to fit various hoover uprights couple of electro vacuum belts I expect although these are imitation I expect they're better than the genuine so-called genuine ones you can buy now couple more belts some more bags. I mean, I believe the lady when she said this has been used uh, fairly recently because these bags cost £3.35. That's a lot. So there's that. Okie dokie. Let's uh, hopefully see if the cleaner's been as well looked after as, as I think it has been. Oh, well... <laughs> It's <laughs> why is it? You know, it's I'm not I'm not dude. It's got a bit of a chip out of it. You can never seem to find these with intact hooks. But yeah, that is a shame. But I'm not gonna cry over it. You know, I've been well compensated by the instruction book and the. Um, The leaflet this has been serviced the these are people that probably had their machine serviced once or twice once a year maybe once every two years elizabeth lodge services 85 high street saint mary cray washing machine and vacuum cleaner specialists telephone 01689 elizabeth lodge services saint mary cray i wonder where that is Anyway, I wonder if they're still going. I doubt it. Top hook. The top hook's fine, look. Does turn. A deluxe feature found on the senior. Ooh, careful though. <laughs> I'll be careful with that. There's the bag support doubly. Out she comes in avocado green. I had a bath that colour once. Yeah, right. She looks okay. She looks fine and dandy. I'll just give her a bit of a wipe, put her together and we'll see if she runs. Well, here she is, fully assembled. She's dropped a little bit of mess on the carpet, but we'll forgive her for that. Yeah, not too bad at all, condition-wise. Not perfect. I don't think she's faded. She seems to be the original colour. Ooh. Needs a bit of oil on her old wheels, doesn't she? But I've noticed, apart from this having a, a sticker suggesting it's been serviced, we also have a, a PAT label, portable appliance testing label, just here at the bottom of the handle. According to the label, this was PAT tested at Elizabeth Lodge Services, tested for electrical safety on the 9th of the 1st, 2019. So this does look like it's been in for regular servicing, although I'm surprised it passed the PAT test because I thought that if the plug doesn't have insulated live and neutral pins, it wouldn't pass. But anyway, it has passed. This is a British made plug I suspect this is the plug that was fitted to the cleaner when it was purchased. Okay, well, before I switch her on, we're going to have a look at her undercarriage. So here she is exposing her underbelly to the YouTube viewing public and very clean and tidy. This cleaner has been used, well used, I suspect, but well looked after. Something people used to do back in the day. They didn't buy a machine, use it for a year or two and chuck it out and buy another one. These were meant to be repaired and they were. This, this uh, 
original owner. I'm sure it's had one careful lady owner. Um, and now it's got me and I will be very careful with her. So nice metal base plate. This is a metal chassis on here, despite the appearance on the other side of the machine, looks like a plastic bodied machine that just covers this Hoover Senior's heritage. And I'll show you that because I want to see, it'd be interesting to see if there is a suppressor in here, because if this has been serviced, I suspect either the suppressor has been removed or replaced. So I might check, I'll check that before we switch her on. So we can take the, the base plate off without any tools. As you could back in the day, later versions of this, you had to undo several screws to access the belt. Oh, and that belt, I think the ladies put on a new belt recently because that doesn't need changing. Oh, it's very stiff though. Possibly very stiff because of the new belt. The brushes, I would say they're still in pretty good shape. That's fine, I think that'll be okay. We'll see when it runs. Sorry, when she runs. So we'll pop the uh, base plate back. Make sure it's correctly positioned, hang on. There we go. It's hard to do it back to front. Can't see what I'm doing. That's it, are you on there? Hmm. I think it's on, it's a bit stiff. There we go, that's it. That's fine. This is a micro switch and I think you can just about see here this little white lever. And what that does, when you convert this machine to use for above floor with the optional cleaning tools, when you slide the converter in, which on this machine goes here at the back, when you slide it in, it activates the micro switch, which boosts the wattage, I think to 600. I'll check because the rating sticker is just here. We'll have a look at that in a minute. So the converter goes in and there's a little flap that you can't see at the moment because I put the base plate back. There's a spring loaded trap door or flap. And when the converter is pushed in, it opens the flap and then the suction's diverted to the hose rather than the brushes, the agitator. Okay, we'll just have a look at the rating sticker. We can date this old girl and then I'm going to take the hood off and we'll see if she's got a dreaded suppressor fitted. This is Hoover model U4014, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 400 slash 600 watts. Serial number is U4014. 7020358 trademarks of Hoover Limited made by Hoover Limited Great Britain we know this is a 70s machine so i would say this is from 1977 so this is a queen's silver jubilee model i'm saying that this is a jubilee cleaner because it was manufactured in the year of the queen's silver jubilee but obviously it wasn't a special edition just a regular senior. I think it's only two screws. Of course, I can check the instruction book to see if it's only two screws because you do need to remove the hood to replace the headlight. And uh, again, it'd be interesting to see if the headlight bulb is intact or if it's even there. Right, let's lower the handle down and lift off. The height control always gets in the way as does the handle release lever. So I've just got to sort of gingerly take it out. There we are. Mm. There's the underside. And I can see the dreaded suppressor. Just here on the back, I mean, it looks okay, but one can never tell if this is going to go bang. So it's positioned on the back of this machine. On later ones, it was more towards the side. I can also see that she's had a new bearing fitted on the 8th of January 2019. I don't know if it's a genuine Hoover one, but this goes to prove this machine was serviced on a regular basis. Here's the headlamp. Let's take it out and have a look. Oh no, wow. Well, that's an old Everready 15 watt 
focus, going to focus for me. An ever ready 15 watt pygmy, small bayonet cap. Hmm, seen one of those recently when I was uh, sorting out. I wonder if I can still get hold of it. I'll have a look. But yes, that's uh, that's blown. It's it's full of bits. So I'll see if I can replace it. Always looks better with a nice headlamp. Well, folks, I've managed to find a pygmy bulb, small bayonet cap, but we've come right up to date. This is an LED one. Now, this might not be suitable because I'm sure I've tried an LED bulb in an older Hoover before and it flickered. So I had to revert to going back to the old fashioned 15 watt filament type, but we'll try it anyway. While I've got the hood off, just before I put the hood back on, we can see the heritage of this Ranger Senior. Here we have the main casting for the Senior that went before, and I've got uh, some of those on my channel, including an almost new in the box one I did a demonstration of, so it's no longer new in the box. And you can even see here where the roundel would have been. So this would have been spray painted white normally, and the roundel put on and the furniture guard would have been attached by rivets around the base. But they needed to refresh this machine in the 70s, so they designed this. Quite ingenious, really, taking an existing cleaner. They changed the handle as well and the hand grip. But quite clever of Hoover. They managed to keep most of it the same, and yet it does look more modern for the 1970s housewife. Okie dokie, well the Covers back on. Oh, what was that? Uh, hmm, there was something rattling. Maybe not. Pop the two screws back. I think most people, if the headlight bulb went on a on a Hoover, whether it be this or the Dirt Searcher, the Starlight, once it went, most people didn't bother fixing it. Right then, I think she is ready to be turned on.
Well, there you go, everybody. The Hoover Ranger Senior doing what she does best. Beating, sweeping and cleaning. For she beats as she sweeps as she cleans. This machine from 1977 would outperform many vacuum cleaners sold today. And certainly on this plush pile Saxony carpet, there's nothing better than a traditional hoover for getting deep down dirt from the pile. If you have any comments or questions about this Hoover Ranger Senior, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.